Star Trek. This is just the latest in most desperate attempt to get any sort of attention. Sure, I'll bite. Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate. If you do like my content, please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, keep your comments to yourself. Eh, it's a Star Trek video. We're going to get the bot accounts and the marketing people and all the people who want to go, oh, You don't like Star Trek and all redacts, or you don't like short tracks. Those are the people that probably will be triggered by my opinions of Star Trek. At least the new stuff. I'm a huge Star Trek fan of, you know, when it was good and actually hopeful and actually optimistic. Well, what are some of their latest attempts here? I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some preliminary numbers and, uh, oh, and there's lower decks numbers in here too. <laughs> I didn't want to just squeeze two videos out of this because frankly, people don't care enough about Star Trek. And I, I don't know what else I can say. Like how, how many... How, how low of hanging of fruit does it have to be? I mean, it's already stomped into the ground, stepped on, some pigeons have been pecking through it and doing everything else that pigeons do. That's how low the low hanging fruit is for modern day new Star Trek. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, shout out to STD sucks there. Here are the viewing numbers. I didn't even know that they did this because you know what? I don't subscribe to CBS All Access's channel. That's how little I care. And I do this you know, for, for a living, pretty much, as part of it anyway. CBS put short tricks on YouTube. Four days later, the views are low. Nobody's watching it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm seeing not a whole lot of people are watching these. 900 views on the girl. Oh, yeah, that was probably one of the worst ones, too. You see young Mikey Spock learning about the tardigrade years before she's supposed to know about the tardigrade. Ask not. It was terrible. Oh, Q&A. Q&A. That's, that's this one. Short in matters, vegetable, animal, and mineral. You are the very model of a modern major general. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would think more people would, at the very least, watch that just for just to see for themselves if that's what really, really happens. Oh, yeah, that's what happens in that episode. And you know what? Now that they're just on YouTube, you could just go and watch them if you want to. I don't recommend it because they're not very good. I've reviewed all of these. Let's see what their numbers are like today, shall we? Because this tweet was from, what, yesterday? Today, it's a little more current. Oh, there, there's a few more of them. Here we go. Also, Lower Decks. Oh, we're coming for you, Lower Decks, too. You're part of this. And we have the actual official numbers for Lower Decks, at least in Canada, because they don't release them on CBSL Access. What do they release, though? Well, we see Lower Decks, and I can confirm 1,000% that I have gotten this as an advertisement on videos of mine. I've gotten this as an, on an, as an advertisement on other people in the community's videos that I watch. People who I white watch who are completely unrelated to Star Trek. So I know that they tune them for people like me, because I know I talk about Star Trek and I know Google knows I talk about Star Trek quite a bit but when you when you come in here and you see this three million well those are those are mostly because it's the channel trailer and because that's their free episode that's the premiere of Lower Decks and because it's running as an advertisement now when you go and you click on it that's that's the fun part here this is where the fun begins so you go in and you click on it and it's not, it's not doing too well. The ratio's there. The comments are still turned on, but the likes and the dislikes, 3,200 to 6,000 up. So, you know, 6,000 people cared enough to actually talk about this. How many comments do we have? Shall we see? Oh, 2,000. So 2,000 people cared enough to even comment at all. What about the numbers on everything else? Oh, 8,000 on The Trouble with Edward. That is one of the absolute worst ones. That's the one where he basically wanted to eat tribbles. Yeah, and th that's pretty much the episode that you've seen floating around. Everything that's wrong with modern day Star Trek is from this short Trek episode where they berate, talk down to a crew member who would have never been allowed outside of the... Outside of... Starfleet at all. He, he would have been evaluated and deemed unstable and sent to get help. Get help. For, you know, they, they wouldn't have talked down because she basically says, oh, he's an idiot. Quote, 
four thousand for a frame and dot. This one basically. <laughs> What is better than Lower Decks now, isn't it? I think that one's better than Lower Decks. 3,000 for Sh Children of Mars. That one was terrible. Ask not. All right. What about, what about Q&A? What's that one up to? Q&A is the best one of all of them, possibly. Don't play it because copyright. Oh, oh, oh. 267 up and 26 down. What are the views? What are the views at? That's not a lot of engagement, is it? 4,757 views. All right, all right. That's, that's, that's less than what I get on Star Trek videos. And this is their own official site. And these are people who didn't get access to a lot of these that are now watching these. Or people who are just curious. And there, there's a reason why that they're releasing all of these. Right here, the entire second season of Short Treks is streaming for free. I've reviewed them. They're not good. I guarantee you they're not worth it. <laughs> as part of an Emmy campaign. You're serious. You're sending these as part of it. Wouldn't you send them screeners? I mean, I, I guess they hit return to sender or something. They didn't even want them. So they go and stick them on YouTube. <laughs> You, you couldn't have you couldn't have emailed some uh some I mean, they're short they're only a few minutes long you couldn't have just emailed them an entire file said hey here's your google drive link you had to, <laughs> you had to show this this is pretty much what we mean by show us the numbers and when you actually just stick it right here on your main homepage here for everybody to see for everyone to to look at and be aware of of what the numbers you are actually getting are. Please stop playing. All right, do not play. Thank you very much. I love it, and that's how they get you because they auto they start auto playing. You might not be aware of it. When your numbers are this low for your Star Trek stuff, you're you're not getting any engagement. You're not getting any interest in this. This tells so much. But no, we do have some official numbers here. And now these come in from Numeris. And it's for Canada, our good friends up north. Top programs from August 3rd to August 9th. This is all of Canada. Lower Decks at 20, 25th place with a half a million, 527,000. That's what this is. These are, on, these are numbers in hundreds of thousands. So CTV Evening News got 1.4 million. America's Got Talent. Here, here we go. 1.67. Yeah, 1 million. You know. Yeah, this. And 800,000 for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. A half a million for Lower Decks. Right? Yeah, Big Bang Theory reruns are beating this. Jeopardy! Hey, Jeopardy! I've been playing Jeopardy late at night. If you guys want to see me actually enjoy myself, I've been playing Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Fall Guys, all kinds of stuff. So definitely check the notification bell. And sometimes you might actually get notified of videos if you have it set to all. Because that's how YouTube works. And I haven't asked people to set the bells and check them. But that's what YouTube's telling me. Like you guys don't already. This, this isn't good numbers. This isn't good numbers for, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it's a great number. Maybe they're expecting far fewer. But you know what? If you're trying to grow a franchise, making something that is a niche of a niche for a niche audience of a niche audience that might not even want this, right? A lot of the Star Trek audience are people at least at least a little older people who are watching next gen in the 90s and ds9 and voyager and enterprise even you know people probably over 35 now i have been hearing that the demographic is basically a little bit younger than me the female demographic of 28 to 35 ish are actually liking lower decks you know, gee, I wonder why with all of the anti-man stuff that they have going on in there. Of course they would like it. I don't. I don't. But I'm also a little bit older than that demographic. I, I, oh, I have no more words to express how embarrassed I am of Star Trek now. It's just an embarrassment. Do you really think people need to see Spock singing? Do you really think that people want that? Do you really think that people want... Rick and Morty versions of Star Trek. No, the Rick and Morty crowd will watch Rick and Morty. The Star Trek crowd will come in and say, I, I don't like what they're doing to Star Trek. This is insulting Star Trek. Why are you taking something that I love and making fun of it? 
And then the younger demographic of people who might like the gross, gory, yucky humor of the lower decks in particular, they're not going to watch it either because they aren't going to understand all the references because in lower decks, it's just reference, 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 reference. <sighs> Star Trek, do better. Please do better. Please do better. I want good Star Trek. And you know what? I'm getting it from the Orville right now. I am really excited for the new Orville season that's coming up. I will be reviewing that. So if you want to see me probably give something, I mean, we don't know yet. It might be terrible. We don't know, but the past two seasons of Orville have really knocked it out of the park. And I think it's been getting better and better. I don't see it getting worse. I don't see it turning into what I'm seeing that I don't like in Star Trek. And that is basically the sheer mark mockery and disgust and disdain for Star Trek that modern day Star Trek has. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42 and I'll see you guys on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Short in matters, vegetable, animal, and mineral, you are the very